Hello friends. In this video, I am going to show you how to use incremental conductance algorithm in Simulic chart to achieve maximum power point. Let's start video. First, open chart by typing chart and press enter. All elements for making algorithm is given left side of the workspace. Now select a state block. In this block, we can write the calculation or result. Give a name of this block. That what is happening inside the block. I am going to calculate the difference between present value and previous value of voltage and current of PV array. I denote present value with subscript PV and previous value with subscript of PRE and the difference with small d. Now add two junctions. For condition of dv is greater than 0 and dv is less than 0. and add two state block for increment or decrement duty cycle after checking the condition. For increment duty cycle just add a step of duty. Here I am using 0.01 and for decrement just subtract the same step of duty. For making loop that continuously check the conditions for MPP whether we have to increase or decrease the duty cycle. We have to add a return part in algorithm. For that add a state block in which we have to assign present value in previous values and these values should be used in next loop. Now write the conditions when we have to increase, decrease or no change in duty cycle. Now connect transition to all state like this. After that write the conditions. First condition I am writing for increasing the duty cycle. Then for decreasing the duty cycle. Be careful in third transition. Here we didn't write any condition which means it is like else statement in programming. If we make it first then it don't check any condition. Rather directly he executes the written statement. So it should be the last. So that first 
we have to check all conditions then execute else statement for making it last we have to connect this transition left most otherwise there will be problem do same for the condition when difference of the previous and present voltage is zero now connect the return path we should write the initial values of the parameters which don't have any values when the loop start first time so give any arbitrary values of previous voltage previous current and duty cycle from where it is start after doing all this work run the chart which pop up a window in which all parameters are given of chart now we have to define that which parameters are input output or local here vpv and ipv are the inputs which are present values of pv array coming from the measurement and d is the output we can get these parameters from model explorer as well which is right here so don't worry now again run the simulation again some issues come the directory is reserved for matlab files i am resolving it by stopping video if you are facing same problem then watch the video link is given above or in description now some issues again that is chart has no default paths to a state it is because at first state block there is no start connected transition i connect it here now it is okay now we have to check this chart whether it is working correctly or not for this i copy and paste a model of pv array with buck boost converter connect the chart like this it is our mpp it is giving that power is decreasing and voltage is increasing that is not correct so check inside the chart here only one condition is always running on this transition there is no written condition and it come first so it executing continuously now change the priority of it as said before now it becomes second that is okay again some issues check it because of no products and between vpv and bracket here so put it now here power is decreasing voltage is increasing and duty also decreasing check inside the chart here change the sign of inequality operator we can get the flow chart from the link given in description now run the simulation it's working 
दिस ऑल एरर्स क्रिएटेड इंटेंशनली सो दैट यू कैन फाइंड प्रॉब्लम्स वेयर यू गोट स्टक The power is fluctuating, so I tuned fine step of duty from 0.01 to 0.001. Then let's see what happened. It's taking a lot of time. So if you make fine adjustment of step in duty cycle. then the system will slow to achieve mpp and other parameter also affect the steady state time which is initial value of d if it is far from the value of duty cycle at which mpp will occur then it takes longer time check the power in this scope it is a straight line and near about 60 volt it is our mpp here it is 59.83 volt at 17.61 volt that is okay Now that's all for the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.